What is up, my fellow Night Dwellers? Couchband here, the teddy bear that teaches you how to mod a variety of different games. Today, we're touching on how to mod Cuphead. It is an oldie, and there's not a ton out there for it, but it was a request, so... Hey, can't say I don't give my audience what you want. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. As far as modding Cuphead goes, there's some complications around it. One, since it's a little older game, a lot of the mods aren't updated or supported anymore. And so we're stuck using legacy versions of the software. The mod in particular that I'm using this time is called the Assist mod, which is basically an easy mode for Cuphead. It gives you 1.5 damage, 6 health, uh, 40 coins to start. So it makes it way easier. But you'll notice here it only supports version 1.2.4. Well, this version is newer than that. So what we actually need to do is go into properties here. Set of the properties, we're going to go down to betas and we're going to go to legacy 1.2.4 pre DLC. Now, once you select that, you can go ahead and close out, and you'll notice it's now auto downloading it the legacy update. Now that we've got the legacy, let's go ahead and browse to the game folder. So, we're going to right click on this guy, manage, and we're going to go browse. Now that we're here, we're going to go ahead and right click, we're going to copy Cuphead. We're just gonna paste it inside the same folder and we're gonna call this one our backup. Because the way you mod it is normally file replacement. There is one where you can use BEP and X and have a mods folder, but the vast majority of them you're going to use file replacement for. Which means backup, otherwise you're going to have to completely uninstall the game and reinstall it to get rid of the mods. All right, now that that's complete, we're gonna just rename this one to backup. So I can restore the game if I want to. And now let's go ahead and go into our downloads where I've already downloaded the mod we want for assist mode. We're going to go ahead and 7-zip and open archive. It's inside the V3 folder. And you'll notice you have GOG or Steam. If you're using Steam, use the Steam one. If you're using GOG, use the GOG one. I'm using Steam, so we're going to come in here. Now, inside of this, we're going to go back in our Cuphead. We're going to go Cuphead data, and we're going to go manage. This is where all the DLLs are, and that's what we're going to be replacing. So we're going to copy this location. We're going to select both of these and go extract. We're going to paste the location, click OK, and go ahead and replace it. Now, if we successfully modded, we should have 6 health, 40 coins, and do 1.5 damage. Let's go ahead and test it out. If you don't get this weird audio video clip here, basically it means you failed to mod the game. It'll stay on a solid black screen. Normally that is you have the wrong version of the game. So make sure you're grabbing the appropriate version. Go ahead and start a new save. And if this functioned, you should be able to tell really quick and easy. HP six down on bottom, so we have health six. So for sure we've modded the game, we're at health six, not health three. Let's go ahead and exit. And up top, you normally start with zero coins, we should have 40. There's the 40. And we should have 1.5 damage, which I can't really test, but there you go. That's how you mod Cuphead. This was Catchman. You guys all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and an amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.